In this video, I'm going to share with you guys my top advice for beginner Amazon sellers. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Bashar Katu, and I'm the founder of BJK University, an education company with a mission to impact 1 million lives. Consider subscribing to the channel and also do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button because it helps us rank in the algorithm. Now, the very first thing that I want to share with you guys, and that was something that really took me probably about a decade of learning. Um, is making sure that anything that you get into, regardless what kind of business, if it's Amazon or anything, look into the marketplace. And you want to make sure that it is something that you want to do for the next two, three, four years of your life, and that's the only thing that you want to do. It is very important that you do this called discovery phase. And that was something that, you know, if I knew starting out as an entrepreneur, I would have probably been a lot um, you know, a lot more advanced in my entrepreneurial journey. I would have been worth a lot more, but I would have, most importantly, you know, helped more people in the process. It took me about four to five different industries and launching nine different businesses until I finally realized the kind of business that I was interested in. So discovering what you want to do is super important. For me personally, what I suggest to a lot of people wanting to start a business is number one, Making sure that you, you know, you, you, you find three to five things that you are interested in, and then, you know, you find one or two people that know what they're talking about in that space, and then follow them for one, two, three months and learn from them. And then drop all the four things and then focus on just one thing. And then ask yourself, is this something that I want to do for the next 12 months, 24 months, 36 months? And I won't be bored of it. I won't, you know, add other stuff or do other things. Um, and if the answer is yes, go to question number two. If after 12 or 24 months, it completely flops, will I, you know, um, will I regret the last 12, 24 months of my life? And if the answer is no, then that is the right vehicle for you. But it's really important that you select the vehicle that you, you know, you don't need to be passionate about it today, but you could see yourself doing for the next two, three, four years, because just to understand, any business that you start will take 12, 24, 36 months to actually get off the ground and to get going. And it's really important that you enjoy what you're doing because if you can find a job that you actually enjoy doing, you will never work a day in your life. Now that's the first thing. The second thing is, let's say you settled on Amazon and that you figured that Amazon FBA is the vehicle for you and that's what you wanna do. What do you wanna do is you want to make sure that you, you know, trying to sell on Amazon has different um, it has different strategies and different methods of doing, th doing so. There is drop shipping, there is um, wholesaling, there is private label, and there are other ways that you can do it, right? Um, even with private label, you could find suppliers in, um, in, you know, overseas. You can find suppliers locally in the United States. You could, um, you know, uh, target branded items. You could create your own. You can invent your own products. There are many different things, but what do you want to do is you want to find one method that you resonate with and that you actually like. For me personally, I started with um, retail arbitrage, and that is where I would go to stores physically, and I would, you know, simply I would have my phone with me, and I'd be scanning every single product. At the end, at the at the back of every single, um, you know, item that you, you know, you see selling, there's a little QR code right here. There's a little scanning thing. So when you scan that and the, as a, you know, when you become a seller on Amazon, you can download the app on your phone and then there's a little, you know, um, camera tag at the top right corner where you could actually, you know, scan that code. And when you do scan that code, what it'll do is it'll show you what kind of, um, you know, if this product, number one, exists on Amazon, number two, if it does, how much does it sell for? And number three, how many sellers are on that listing trying to sell that product? So for me, I had a criteria of, Number one, it needs to obviously be selling on Amazon. Number two, there needs to be less than 10 sellers trying to compete for the same product. Number three, it needs to have a BSR, best sellers rank of 75,000 or less. And number four, there needs to be at least a $10 margin. Meaning if I can buy it at the store for $20, I can sell it at least on Amazon for $30. Now I don't make the entire $10, but you know, I usually would make at least $5 because you have shipping from that place to Amazon's warehouse. There's labeling, there's boxes, there is Amazon fees and all that stuff, right? And so that's how I started. But then I quickly realized that that wasn't a scalable concept. 
If I wanted to, you know, I think I was doing about five, ten thousand dollars a month in revenue. If I wanted to go to twenty, fifty, a hundred thousand dollars a month, I knew that, you know, I needed to always be driving around. I needed to always be finding new items because, say, I went to the store and I found this item and it's good, and there's only ten of them. Well, I say I went to Walmart. Well, I can probably drive around town and and find. 10 different Walmarts with 10 pieces each, that's 100 pieces. But what happens after the 100 pieces sell out? I can't remanufacture, and I tried doing that, but that's not ethical, and neither will your product actually last. I actually found a product that I was making like $22 in, in profit, and I went to a manufacturer, and I said, hey, can you manufacture this thing for me? And they simply refused. They're like, man, this is branded item. We can't just make it for you. You have to get a, a license from the distributor. And when I tried to do that, they had all of their fees and I was left with like two, three dollars in profits. So then what I quickly realized is that there is a concept called FBA private labeling. And that is where you simply find demanded, you know, products that are in demand on Amazon and you simply go directly to the supplier and that supplier, you can negotiate with them and say, hey, look, I found this notebook, but I want first to, for you to put my logo on it. So now it's my brand. I am the only person that can sell it. Number two, you know, I want to change it a little bit. I want to add, you know, maybe I want to bundle it with a pen. Maybe I want to sell it with a pen. Maybe I want to bundle it with whatever, right? And I want to create my own variation of this product and sell it in the market. You see, Amazon has and generates over 53% of all the online shopping. So 53% of every single item that sells online is sold on Amazon. People go to Amazon with an intent to buy. So why not utilize their, you know, their existing um, processes and their existing platform for you to sell. Now, a lot of people get choked up on the 20 to 25% that Amazon takes from you because that's their referral fee. But it's like, look, if at the end of you paying for advertising, paying Amazon fees, paying your supplier, you're still left with 15 to 25% of net profits, what else do you want? One of the biggest things that a brand new business struggle, struggles with is generating demand, is bringing customers to actually their store, buying their product. That's the first thing. The second thing that a brand new business uh, struggles with is the infrastructure, is making sure there are systems in place, is storing, is location, is employees, is um, you know, uh, uh, standard, you know, standard operating procedures, all these things. Amazon already has that figured out for you. So why try to reinvent the wheel? Piggyback on their platform, pay them the 20, 25%, and keep your 20, 25%, everyone makes money, right? So the second thing would be, obviously the first thing would be figuring out what vehicle you wanna do. The second thing would be figuring out what exact Amazon FBA strategy you want to do for you to actually sell on Amazon, right? And the third thing you wanna do is, once you've figured this stuff out, is find someone who's actually doing this. One thing I quickly realized, and you know, I actually, I shouldn't say quickly, it took me probably about half a decade and over half a million dollars to finally realize is that you, anything you're trying to attempt in life on planet earth, someone else has accomplished before you, someone else has done before you. Unless you are Elon Musk and trying to fly a, a, a used rockets into space after you've landed them back onto earth and then fly them like 20 times, then everything else has simply been done before. And anything you try to do, all you're doing when you're trying to figure it out on your own, all you're doing is you're really wasting time. Because many, many people would say, well, you know, I don't wanna spend money on courses. I don't wanna spend money on coaching. I don't wanna pay someone to do it. If they were able to figure it out, I can figure it out. Absolutely. But you gotta understand one thing. Money that you're gonna invest is replenishable. You can remake that money again. But the time that you're going to spend trying to figure it out it's time that you can never gain back again. And time is the only resource that is not duplicatable, it's not replenishable, right? And so today, anytime I try to do anything, I simply find the best in that industry and in that thing and I say, hey, consult me. Hey, join my team. Hey, how can I do this? Do you have a course? Do you have this, right? And I simply pay my way into success. If you're looking for a shortcut to success, then find someone who's doing the thing that you're trying to do and then simply piggyback on their success. Now, I hope you guys found this video valuable. If you did and you want BJK University to be 
the, the, the thing that will help you launch and scale on Amazon, then click the link below this video where we'll walk you through the process of exactly how we do what we do. We'll explain to you, you know, number one, what is the strategy that we utilize? Number two, how we utilize FBA's existing systems to simply do 90% of the work for us. And we'll also show you how you can get involved. If you like what you see, you can book a call with one of our enrollment advisors. If not, at least now you know what is involved and what it takes to become a successful Amazon seller. Outside of that, hope you guys found this video valuable. Please smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.